Let's let you know that we've been joined at this point in time with someone who should even give us more information into what is going on. Uh, he actually is the uh, Southwest Coordinator of NEMA, uh, and he's Sahid Akiode, who joins us uh, virtually this morning. NEMA, of course, is National Emergency Management Agency. Uh, good morning, uh, Sahid. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Yeah, what is currently going on now? What is going on now is such a rescue now. There is operation now. Since uh, the incident of course, on the 26th, uh, men of uh, res such a rescue team has been deployed. First, uh, we have the anti bomb squad who were dra drafted to the place uh, to search for the safety of the place, whether there could be likely any form of uh, bomb explosion again. See, so that has been satisfied that the area is safe than other response agencies after move, moving to commence a search and rescue operation. Uh, as of yesterday, uh, we have recorded five uh, deaths. Uh, before yesterday, it was three, and yesterday it was two, uh, while several others who, uh, who were injured has been taken to the hospital. Some have gone home, and some are still here, are in the hospital. As of now, search and rescue operation is still going on. And if we have any information, we'll be updating the, uh, the emergency operation center where we have where we have created for people with any useful information to come up with anything that can help us in continuation of our operation uh, before i you over to my colleague in abuja uh, you said that of course we heard two more bodies have been recovered from the scenes of the event but incident so to speak uh, but the governor says we have to get to ground zero for us to know what actually is happening how much uh, you know, have you been able to go? How much gone are you with the uh, rescue uh, operations? Uh, the rescue operation has been very extensive. Uh, other other responders are moving uh, to really ascertain uh, the level of the index of how the damage has caused. So now, what is still going on is such and rescue. And uh, what is probably going on is how do we determine? Uh, integrity of the buildings what needs to be done uh, that is being done now so the investigation teams are on now right is trying to investigate uh what is the uh, causes of the, the incident all right um side good morning once again and uh, well done for the job you're doing so far but i need to quickly find out from you you just mentioned a short while ago that uh, you have several you know uh, units of uh, different security agencies on ground. One of such is the anti-bomb squad. Um, and so far, five bodies have been discovered, uh, those who lost their lives. But in the midst of all of this, have you been able to profile um, and find out the identity of those who lost their lives, if they have any connection whatsoever with uh, what happened um, on Tuesday? Yeah, as of now, that has not been a starting. I know those bodies dis uh, discovered has been deposited in the mug. I think uh, with the current investigation, very soon we'll be able to determine who are exactly these people and what connections they have uh, in linking up with the explosion. Hmm. All right, so um, just like what uh, the governor of uh, Oyo State mentioned, he was quick to say that, uh, or tell the world rather, that. Uh, the bomb explosion was uh, caused, allegedly caused by activities of illegal miners who perhaps may have had some of these explosives with them. Um, are there, have there been any indications to that effect? Yes, I think with the level of investigation uh, being uh, carried out, uh, very soon uh, the government will come up uh, with a, a, a linkage that really causes uh, the explosion, very soon. Okay, so um, having said that, um, you know, Nema, I, I understand you respond, you, are, you respond to crises like this and all of that. But beyond just that part of Ibadan and with what you may have seen on ground and with, uh, you know, all that has been said with respect to what has caused this sort of explosion, are you looking at the possibility of perhaps other parts of Ibadan? You know, not being negative right now, but I'm thinking in respect to taking precautions. Are you looking at the possibility that uh, 
there are other places in Ibadan, in Oyo State, that could be prone to this sort of situation? Uh, for now, that cannot, uh, we cannot ascertain that. But I know government is uh, leaving no school on top to ensure that if there is any likelihood, uh, the current investigation uh, will tell us what to be done. Uh, with what is happening now, effort is being made to determine that, whether it may really occur. With the level, uh, with the with the intervention of the uh, anti pump squad, I think uh, if there will be, they could have informed us. And uh, with the current investigation showing on, uh, they may likely give us an update. The likely area we may need to uh, prepare for or prevent. Let me take you back to the statement where you said that NEMA, of course, has been hand, uh, handed out the mandate to ensure the. As the integrity of the building, the structure still standing within where the incident uh, really occurred. How much have you uh, been able to carry out such, uh, uh, you know, exercise? Because I've not heard anything from most people there. We have a correspondence there uh, about NEMA going to carry out integrity tests on some of the buildings. Can you clarify on that, please? Uh, it, uh, is, NEMA is not to do the integrity structure. It is, it is the same Ministry of Works and Housing that is uh, doing that now. I think that exercise has commenced uh, since the day before yesterday. Currently, uh, the integrity test is going on. As that yesterday, I saw some members of these, uh, this staff of the works who are doing that. Currently, they are on ground now, trying to find out, to do the kind of integrity test that you have at the moment with regards to the impact of the explosion within the areas affected? Uh, you can come again with your question. What are the concerns you have with regards to the areas impacted by the explosion on Tuesday? Uh, the concern is that uh, many, many buildings uh, that are impacted, uh, the people affected, uh, really coming up uh, with you, what is going to be a light intervention of which this government is going to do in order to be able to restore or to rebuild their, uh, their buildings. But with the setup of an emergency operation center where people come there to register and give us updates or information or that can be useful for us to really determine what the government should do for the people. But for now, the impact is much, and many people who are concerned are showing up uh, to come and register their, their concerns. Um, Said, I, I can't help but keep wondering, you know, when this sort of situation happens, this sort of thing, unfortunately, situation happens in one state, it's, uh, there's a possibility, you start looking at the possibility of this also happening in other states. You know, I'm not saying um, the, the investigation is not conclusive yet. But what precautions would you suggest that neighboring states should take? Yeah, what I would suggest is that all the neighboring states, uh, with the level of what we have seen now, that everybody should be his own brother's keeper. Uh, there should be a community association uh, where, or landlord association where those who reside, we need to determine what types of people are residing in a particular area. So if such uh, associations are profile or get to know who and who is this particular area they may be like to know who do we accommodate or who do we allow uh, to reside in a particular street this time that the associations communities and landlord associations should come together now and start to determine who do we allow to stay and what is the nature of the, the person or resident you are allowed to come and stay in this area all right so uh but, but Sai, I mean, you may be implying, you may be implying, you may be implying, I, I, I'm not putting words in your mouth, but from what your response right now, you may be implying as such, like you have an idea of uh, th what actually happened in Ibadan, you know, in the sense that uh, the criminals, is it, was it criminal activity or really indeed, as the governor had suggested, are these people minors, illegal minors, as it were? Yeah, it's not a criminal activity. Uh, it's what really happened is that uh, the illegal miners reside in that particular area, and people are not aware that such uh, people are as have storage or harboring such uh, explosive device in that particular compound. 
So what really happened is not criminal. It's just that the people there are around the area are not aware that what is the nature of people, what types of occupation are those society in that particular are doing. That is that is what really uh, that is the issue now. So what to me it is it, it has no criminal uh, undertone. Okay, uh, as we wrap up this morning, Sakit, uh, what, what level of uh, work have you been able to do there, and how much more uh, still needs to be done? Uh, much is being done uh, for now, at least. Uh, between now and let me see, before uh, before Monday, uh, the clearing of the ref uh, debris is going on now, so that we can have a clear level area to really know the extent to which uh the place is being cleared now there's ongoing operations to ascertain that all the rebels are cleared away so that we can be able to determine whether there are still uh, victims hidden somewhere with this level of what is going on now uh before i by monday we should have concluded uh, the search and rescue operation in that particular area all right, we thank you so much, Saeed Akiode, Southwest Coordinator, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. We thank you very much for joining us on the program today. You're welcome. You're welcome.